assalamu alaikum dear students let's start week number 12 of introduction to marketing in this week we will discuss retailing and wholesaling first of all let's have a look at the outline of today's of this week we will discuss retailing we will discuss retailer marketing decisions we will discuss retailing trends and developments we will also discuss different types of retailers and then we will start wholesaling and the types of wholesaling and some other information related to wholesaling let's move to our next slide and uh, first of all there is the definition of retailing Retailing includes all activities in selling products and services to direct directly to the final consumers. Basically, retailing is a business where we purchase product for the from the company in order to resell the product to the end users without any change. without any modification in the product and without further processing of any product so here in this in this situation or in this business which is called retailing or this activity which is called retailing businesses purchase the product from the company in order to resell the product to the final user or end user normally they in they intend to resell these goods and services to private households generally as i have told you without any transformation without any changes or without any further modification so now move to the next slide first of all we will see different store retailers and uh, we will discuss one by one all these store retailers let's have a look at the store retailers here and then we will discuss the amount of service first we will discuss amount of service and then we'll come to the store retailers first of all we will see the types of retailer different types of retailer will have different types of services so when we talk about amount of services basically it depends on the type of the business some products need self service some products need limited service and some products need full service self service means when consumer when consumers are having self service normally in specialty store we will discuss all the types of stores also normally in specialty stores and supermarkets consumers and the buyers have have to do all the purchasing by themselves they do not need any a person to help them out on the other hand the next uh, the next and the second type of the retailer is limited service this limited service retailers offer more service assistance because they carry more shopping goods customers need information about these goods the operation the operating costs of these retailers are high which results in higher prices normally these are the products where consumers do not have 100% information and they need someone to satisfy them 
and to answer their queries and to assist them in handling and in giving information about the product number 3 full service retailer full service retailers mean these are the retailers who give complete services to the consumers they hire sales persons who give special assistance to the customer at every step to guide them to help them and to give information regarding the product normally full service stores carry more specialty goods and customers are ready to spare more time for shopping and that's why sales persons in the stores will help customers to make their decisions about their purchase next we have types of retailer in product line first of all we will discuss specialty stores specialty store is a retail store that carries a narrow product line with a deep assortment with that line for example furniture stores are specialty store garments or clothes store are specialty stores bookshop is specialty store electronics shop is specialty store they have narrow line they have only furniture products and they do, they do not have other items they have only garments related items and they do not have any other item they have only books in their shops and they have only electronic items in their shops so these are called specialty stores where there is a narrow product line but assortment and the difference are very deep and wide second category is department store a department store is a retail organization that carries a wide variety of line products typically these products are household items garments along with garments and some other product lines department stores do not have narrow product lines they have a bit wider product line number 3 we have convenience store convenience store as it is of it is said in the word convenience convenience means sahulat something which is convenient to us the convenience store is basically a very small store near our residential area near our house which is open which is open for a long time and extended hours normally they do not have any holiday these stores are open 
seven days a week and they carry limited line of products with high turnover with limited products lines with high turnover high turnover means these are the products which are normally be used by the consumers on regular basis for example the general store of our area and any karyana store of our area is an example of convenience store next we have super store super store is normally double it is double to supermarket we will also discuss supermarket these are double to supermarket super stores carry large assortment of routine purchased food items and non food items for example in our area metro is an example of a super store they offer different services and different products under one roof next product is category killer so the category killer is also a retail store which has huge assortment of the product or of a of a category where the customer can get the product of their choice we will move to the next slide now types of retailer relative prices let's see discount stores first <laughs> discount stores are retail institutions or retail stores that sell standard merchandise at lower prices they basically offer the product at low price and their price is low due to their low margin of profit due to their low margin of profit stores that offer occasional discounts are not discount stores those organization who give discounts on different occasions they are not called discount stores discount stores are those stores normally who give the products at relatively low price and their low price is due to their low profit margin and that's why they give the products at discount number 2 off price retailer off price retailers are retail institutions or retail organizations that buy a less than regular wholesale price and sell at less than retail means they purchase at low price means their cost is low and they charge less than retail they usually carry a changing and unstable collection of higher quality merchandise they are often they are often they often 
डील इन लेफ्ट ओवर इेगुलर प्रोडक्ट वेन दे गेट इेगुलर प्रोडक्ट एंड लेफ्ट ओवर एट लोअर प्राइस इवन लोअर देन होल सेल प्राइस देन दे चार्ज लो देन रिटेल प्राइस If retail price of a product is five hundred, they will charge four hundred and fifty. For example, next factory outlets. Students, factory outlets are owned and operated by the company. Factory outlets are basically the outlets or stores of the company. Company own the outlet, not just not company, not just just not own the company, uh, own the stores, but they also operate the stores and normally when. companies own or run factory outlets at factory outlet or in factory outlet their price is less than the regular price from the market and fourth number we have warehouse clubs warehouse clubs are also off price retailers that sell a limited selection of brand name grocery items they also use clothing they also use uh, uh, different home appliances and mix of all the goods at discount at discount to their members they basically offer discount to the members they make members of their house and they offer discounts to their members let's move to the next slide students next in next slide we have types of retailer organizational approach first of all have a look at corporate chains corporate chains means these are the chains or these are the stores in uh, these can be in numbers or these can be more than 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 owned and controlled by the outlets okay and employ central buying and merchandising and sell sell similar products similar products means chains are the stores which are also called branches where the product is similar and the quality of the product is also similar these are the stores at different areas in different geographic ge geographical areas to give services or to give products to the customers of the required area corporate chains are found in retailing types but they are most spectacular in department stores there are many departments these can be department store these can be other businesses which are basically called chain opposite to opposite to chain is franchising organization and we will inshallah discuss this also number 2 we have voluntary chains there are many independent retailers they decide to get together they decide to band together in either of the two forms of contractual associations 
the first one of these two contractual form is